Every Monday night, dozens of children come to the Karate School Dragon in Utica, New York. They come to learn about a centuries-old Asian martial art taught by a Bosnian refugee who fled a civil war in former Yugoslavia. He opened the Karate School three months after arriving in Utica 17 years ago without a bank loan. Today, it has more than 150 students. Our friends are the ones who helped me financially, and with time, I paid them back. Here, banks only give money. Banks have their own rules and give money to rich men, which was hard because I did not have any credit history for the bank to give me any money. So my friends helped me, and when I was able to pay them back, I did. Roughly 25 percent of the people living in Utica are refugees. They came primarily from Vietnam, Myanmar, Bosnia and Somalia, all looking for a better life. But they arrived in a town undergoing its own hardships. Utica lost about a third of its population when the factories in the area shut down. But town officials say the population is now starting to grow and the economy is turning around, thanks in part to its refugees. They roll up their sleeves and they're willing to work. Uh, one shift here or another shift here. Robert Palmieri is the city's mayor. He says, like Utica's Italian, Polish and Irish immigrants of generations past, the recent refugee population is highly motivated. Many of them work at the nearby Chobani factory, America's biggest seller of Greek yogurt. Access to labor has helped it and other companies stay in the area. They're also starting restaurants, shops and other small businesses and becoming taxpayers and consumers, which is helping to boost the economy. And they're turning neighborhoods around by buying rundown homes and renovating them. Property values are increasing and the population is growing. All of a sudden they're seeing good things happening. People are reinvesting into their neighborhoods. And they're saying, you know what? I've got a great opportunity here. I'm going to stay here now. Nevertheless, polls show large numbers of Americans are wary of refugees, concerned about their impact on the economy and national security. These are the most heavily screened and vetted type of immigrant to enter the country. Shelley Callahan is the executive director at the Mohawk Valley Resource Center for Refugees. She says the worries are misplaced and steeped in a fear of the unknown. You know, this idea of the other, the stranger, is frightening. So, you know, do some things to get to know who these people are. Uh, a lot of the people here are enormously friendly and really happy to share their culture, their food. And how does Suleiman, a Muslim, feel about President-elect Donald Trump, who once vowed to bar Muslims from entering the country, but has since softened his stance? This is my president now. You're okay. No, 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 no feeling, I'm feeling good, because nothing changed with me. I'm again hard work. Karina Huber, CCTV, Utica, New York.